the transformation of the Czech L-39NG Skyfox from a modernized jet trainer into a dedicated counter-drone interceptor reflects a broader shift in the global defense market where nations urgently search for inexpensive yet responsive tools to confront the rapidly rising threat of mass-produced UAVs. With drone warfare now a central feature of modern conflict, particularly illustrated by the daily use of Shahid-type loitering munitions in Ukraine and the Middle East, air forces and industry are scrambling to adapt existing platforms into specialized drone hunters. The appearance of an armed L. 39NG in this role at the Dubai Airshow demonstrates how Western and European manufacturers are positioning themselves to meet the demand for a low-cost, export-friendly, ETAR-free solution. But the question remains whether this converted, flying school desk, can challenge the entrenched dominance of Embraer's A-29 Super Tucano, which for years has stood as the default low-intensity, low-cost combat aircraft for nations seeking affordable precision strike capabilities. The Czech manufacturer Aero Vodokity showcased the L-39NG Skyfox equipped with Thales FC-275 LGR guided rockets, two 12.7mm machine guns, and a combination of advanced targeting pods that elevate the aircraft from a trainer to a credible platform for counter-UAV missions. The FC-275 rockets, already in combat use with Ukrainian forces, rely on semi-active laser guidance and provide an accurate, relatively inexpensive means of striking slow-moving or hovering drones such as the Shahid-136. Their presence on the Skyfox is significant because they serve as a European alternative to the American APKWS, which often faces export restrictions and politically sensitive approvals. In this new configuration, the L-39NG becomes an ITR-free European drone fighter, which in the current geopolitical climate is attractive for countries attempting to diversify suppliers and reduce dependency on the United States. The integration of the Australian CNAB Phoenix targeting pod and the Austrian SCAR pod from Airborne Technologies further enhances situational awareness. These systems provide electro-optical and infrared sensors capable of detecting small drones and designating targets for laser-guided munitions. For a platform originally designed for pilot training, the addition of such sensors transforms the aircraft into a lightweight precision engagement system. In theory, this enables the Skyfox to patrol at higher speeds, visually acquire incoming drones, and destroy them before they reach population centers or critical infrastructure. This capability is especially relevant for Ukraine, where defending large territories from flood-like drone attacks requires a mix of ground-based air defense and mobile airborne interception solutions. Ukraine's existing use of older L-39C Albatros jets gives Aero Vodokity a natural point of entry. Replacing aged airframes with modern L-39NG variants would not only expand pilot training capabilities but also offer a secondary operational use as a budget counter UAV asset. Ukrainian forces have expressed satisfaction with the combat performance of FC-275 rockets in downing Shahids, and plans already exist to scale domestic production and develop new launch platforms based on frontline experience. The synergy between Ukrainian battlefield feedback and Eros modernized airframe could, in principle, produce a tailored solution well-suited for Ukraine's air defense ecosystem. Moreover, an ITAR-free platform aligns with Kiev's need to diversify procurement options amid political fluctuations in Washington. However, the core challenge remains whether the L-39NG can surpass the A-29 Super Tucano, which has long been favored by nations engaged in counterinsurgency and light attack missions. The Super Tucano is a turboprop aircraft, which may initially seem inferior to the jet-powered L-39NG in terms of speed, but its operational characteristics make it exceptionally efficient for prolonged patrols, loitering over potential threat zones, and operating from rough or improvised airstrips. These qualities are essential for drone interception missions that require extended time on station. The A-29's endurance is significantly higher than that of the L-39NG, which consumes more fuel and therefore has shorter patrol windows and less equipped with external fuel tanks. Endurance directly correlates with counter-drone effectiveness, 
The aircraft that can remain airborne the longest gains more interception opportunities and reduces the burden on ground-based radars and air defense crews. Proponents of the L-39NG argue that speed provides its own advantage. A faster aircraft can rapidly reposition and chase incoming drones before they reach targets. Yet, speed also creates difficulties in engaging small, slow, low-flying UAVs, particularly at night or in adverse weather. The handling characteristics of turboprops often make them more stable and flexible in low-speed engagements, whereas jets require greater pilot precision and more sophisticated targeting aids to maintain accuracy. This is where the Skyfox's sensor and pod upgrades attempt to compensate. If detection, tracking, and laser designation are automated and synchronized effectively, the L-39NG could offset its speed limitations through improved fire control efficiency. Another factor influencing competitiveness is cost. Historically, the A-29 has enjoyed mass adoption partly because of robust U.S. financing programs and extensive global training support. Meanwhile, the L-39NG, though modern and reliable, has not yet achieved significant traction in the international market beyond the Czech Republic, Vietnam, and more recently Hungary. Previous attempts to market attack-optimized configurations of the aircraft did not succeed, leaving uncertainty about whether this latest counter-drone variant will break the pattern. Aero Vodokity hopes that by adding new mission flexibility, especially a mission as globally relevant as drone interception, the Skyfox will appeal to countries seeking multi-role, budget-friendly aircraft not bound by U.S. export law. There is also the question of military doctrine. Air forces structured around jet trainers may welcome a combat-capable version of an aircraft already integrated into their training pipeline. This reduces maintenance complexity, shortens pilot transition time, and cuts long-term operating costs by unifying training and light attack functions. Conversely, some countries prioritize rugged turboprop platforms precisely because they complement existing counterinsurgency and border patrol missions, areas where jets provide limited advantage. Thus, client preferences may reflect operational environment more than pure performance. Ultimately, the L-39NG Skyfox in its counter-drone configuration represents a pragmatic adaptation rather than a revolutionary aircraft. It demonstrates how nations and manufacturers are responding creatively to new threats by upgrading familiar platforms with advanced sensors and precision weapons. Whether the Skyfox can seriously threaten the dominance of the Super Tucano depends less on raw performance and more on geopolitical conditions, export restrictions, customer needs, and how effectively Aero Vodokity can market the aircraft as a flexible, ETAR free alternative in an era where autonomy, cost effectiveness, and rapid delivery matter more than ever. If the company can leverage its technical improvements, capitalize on Ukraine's positive experience with FC-275 rockets, and present the L-39NG as a dual-role trainer and drone interceptor, it may secure a meaningful niche within the evolving global defense market. However, it remains to be seen whether this niche will be wide enough to shift long-standing procurement trends or merely represent an incremental addition to the options available for counter-UAV operations worldwide.